Fit Fire Commentary number 85. We got another one of my buddies from over at PrestigeGamers.com. Death by Numbers. And Death has been one of my friends' lists for a long ass time, just like all my other friends. <laughs> I think since Call of Duty 4. At least Call of Duty 4, if not the, the year after World at War, whenever when I didn't play that motherfucker. I played Resistance 2 and shit like that. So obviously we got some. Oh, fuck, 12 minutes? Oh, son of a bitch. Who could have fast forward this shit for you? Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Death by Numbers actually has a PBR. He had one of our. um one of our mutual friends uh, record this for him. I don't know who it was, but motherfucker, man. You mean to tell me you couldn't get somebody to fast forward this shit? At least the bullshit up in this motherfucker. Damn, man. 12 minutes? Right. If I'm not, did I see some, yeah, I saw some UK HQ guys up in this bitch. But man, 12 fucking minutes. I already know what's gonna happen, man. Domination. This is gonna be a game of fucking flag monkeying. I, I see it already. I, what? Damn. <laughs> this is a badass. Holy shit. You already got fucking a, a death streak in this bitch? Oh, man, that sucks. Look, and here's how you can break up the death streak. Nice little... Is that a double kill? Yeah, double kill right there. Anyway, man, I can already tell. When a fucking long-ass game of, of uh, domination starts like this, this is going to be nothing but fucking flag train. The final score is going to probably be like 200 to 199. Oh, God, man. I fucking hate these kind of... You know what it is? Infinity Ward made sure that you didn't have these uh, spawn trap games and shit. For some reason, they wanted to really prevent spawn trapping. So their idea was to make... Why did you not go... For all right, so you, you're going for the C-Flex. Now, one of the things that they tried to do is they tried to make these maps um, triangular. The best way I can describe it. There's <laughs> a spray and spray right there. They tried to make these maps triangular. In other words, when you play like Call of Duty 4, most of the maps were rectangular in shape. So you could actually just sit in one spot, pin a team in a corner like a motherfucker, and they weren't going to get out. Like, I remember the map of Call of Duty 4, Crossfire. What the hell is this guy coming out? Remember the map, like, uh, Crossfire was a great one, or, what was the uh, Ambush, Downpour, they were all rectangular, basically, you could pin a team in a corner infinitely, kill it, keep their ass back there, and just keep killing them all game long. In this game, they decided to triangulate shit, in other words, they were gonna spread out all the goddamn flags, basically, making it almost impossible to really spawn trap a motherfucker. What the hell? I thought for a second that that goddamn trophy system, I was like, why is the trophy system killing him? <laughs> No, but anyway, like I was saying, they wanted to make sure that people don't get spawn trapped with the rectangular maps and shit like that. So they wanted to put everything up in um this triangle shape shit. So you're gonna have a lot harder time being able to keep the spawn trap going. Now, obviously, there are ways of doing it. Teams know how to do it. Obviously, you keep two flags. Yeah, three people watch one flag, three people watch the other flag, and none of them be able to get out the motherfucker. But obviously, with these triangle flags and shit like that, you can't just keep them pinned in a corner anymore. Now they do have their maps. Mission is obviously one of the best ones. Basically, if you keep a team in the corner on mission, they're fucking dead. I mean, you're gonna rack up tons of kills like that. Damn. Even the smallest map, Dome. Dome is like triangular. If you look at where the, the, the flags are located and shit like that. Like the B and C flag almost next to each other. The A flag is in the middle of fucking Carajo land. Nobody knows what the hell that shit is. Nobody ever sort of captures the goddamn A flag. But anyway, you haven't captured too many flags, I see. You're defending them. That's a good thing. Now, you see, I, I, I noticed you got the, the UK HQ group, guys. Now, I'll tell you right now, you get, people are going to be like, how do you know who the hell are they? UK HQ is another one of the guys, another group over at PrestigeGamers.com. We have a whole bunch of people. You know, Prestige Gamers is just a website. We have a whole bunch of clans. We have people who are gaming for life. And, I, and if I'm not mistaken, I think I saw your uh, your clan tag. Not your clan tag. What is that stupid shit? The, the, the title. The title. Whatever the fuck. Your title was um, Gaming for Life. We have the UK HQ, obviously United Kingdom headquarters, whatever the fuck that is. Whatever, man. We got a whole bunch of people. They have their own little clans and groups and, and orgies and, and cults and shit like that. We got a whole bunch of motherfuckers over there. So anyway, we got two of them here. We got the Gaming for Life and we got the UK HQ guys. So anyway, just had to get that out the way. I didn't see who was in the room with you, though. I didn't, I didn't get a Jat Maniac. Okay, so we have Jat Maniac and I didn't know. What the fuck? How many times do you get shot in your back in this fucking game? <laughs> That's one of the problems with these fucking triangular maps, man. They, they just fucking piss you off. Now, granted, you can keep a team infinitely pinned. Like I said, if you know... Damn. You're taking... You, you look like me playing this game. Stupid ass death. <laughs> That's what I do. I take some of the dumbest fucking deaths in Domination. And you know what it is, man? Especially... I, mean, I think you have three randoms. If you don't have three randoms, that's pretty fucking silly. This guy came out goddamn corner. But if you don't have... Random, like if you have a party of six, obviously you know what you're doing, but with randoms, man, you never know what the fuck you're doing. Like, why the hell? Great fucking spawn there. <laughs> and look at this spawn. Wait, you see, that's the thing with these triangle maps, man. The spawns are so fucking unpredictable. That's why the best way to win and spawn trap is you basically need to keep three guys at one leg of these. Fuck it. Oh my god. The fucking random is sitting in the corner, camping, facing one fucking direction, and they still allow you to get. Oh man. You see, that that's kind of. Look, he's still there. 
You see, that's the kind of shit that would front. He's facing one fucking direction. Just sitting there, waiting for somebody to come out that motherfucker. And, and oh, my God. It, it's just frustrating to watch. You know, it really is frustrating when you see people do that stupid shit. And you know they're on your team. You're like, you fucking asshole. Like, God damn. So you see, now I know there's a lot of people that just, you gotta run around. Uh, this is one of those maps where basically you gotta capture any fucking flag. It's a pain in the ass trying to hold down all the goddamn flags and shit like that. But here, you obviously, you need to make sure. Look at this motherfucker. You obviously need to make sure that you want to be able to, you know, hold down whatever flag you can. If you have the C flag, you want to hold the C flag, you get the B flag, you get the B flag. But anyway, like getting back into the whole hit fire commentary thing, Death by Numbers actually did something that he didn't really need to do. Now, one of the things I keep saying is, if you're a member at Prestige Games, you're a long-time member, or you have a lot of posts up in the motherfucker, you don't have to do any of these challenges that I have listed out there. He can basically submit any video he wants, and why aren't you going for a damn flag? I mean, I see a shitload of enemies. By, right there, right on your left. I see a shitload of enemies. But anyway, like I was saying, you don't need to do the challenges if you're a member at Prestige Games. You can actually bypass everything. The video before this was Hatred. Hatred bypassed everything. He said, fuck this. Here's my video. Go do a goddamn commentary over this bitch. Is he you gonna steal that shit? Watch that be an explosion. <laughs> oh, shit. The riot shield. No, the juggernaut. He got the juggernaut, bitch. No, you know what's funny? It's obviously when you see somebody downloading the motherfucker. Did that guy really think that was gonna work? You just like, yeah, I was about to say, man, just pistol whip his ass. No, but the funny thing is, you when you see people downloading the motherfucker, turn around, turn around. Oh, you're fucked now. <laughs> I was gonna say, that gang raping your ass. But no, but the thing is, when you see, what the hell was that? I saw a destroyed predator missile? Somebody got a, a, a whatchamacallit up in the air? Uh, whatever the fuck. But anyway, what I was gonna say is, what the hell? Damn, man, you know, your team is fucking terrible. <laughs> There's no other way to say it, man. People, like, they're facing one direction, and they still get fucking killed in that goddamn... Oh, what are you gonna do, man? Randoms. You can't do anything about fucking randoms. Like I was saying, he didn't have to do the whole challenge, hit by commentary challenge. People who are at PrestigeGamers.com, this guy turns back. People who are at Prestige Gamers, they can send in whatever the fuck they want. He decided he was gonna do the scavenger hunt. So he went out, he completed the scavenger hunt, and then because he doesn't have a PVR, he had to have somebody go record it. So I don't know who recorded this. You can let me know who recorded it. I can give them credit for recording this bitch for you. What's this guy gonna do? He's gonna do a 360 off that bitch. <laughs> I expected a 360, man. I thought you were about to make some motherfucking montage or some shit like that. But anyway, get him back. Look, another fucking juggernaut. Oh, this dude. Look at this guy. He's all kinds of pro. Sitting on the flat. Oh, God. Yeah, you, you ain't gonna take him on. First of all, you know, people... When they see the juggernaut, man, people just gotta go gang rape the motherfuckers. So what just happened to you? Now, they, that means they have two juggernauts, right? Because you stole one. And then this dude got one. So damn, look at this dude camping in the fucking. You, you, I saw the the what call it. Somebody got the motion sensor on. Now that motion sensor, I got. And people say, oh, that's a camping device. And listen, man, that shit actually works. Wow, two guys camping in the corner. That wasn't just one. That was two motherfuckers. Holy shit, a destroyed predator missile. What are you guys destroying the predator missile? Is that um? What is that shit? The, the the what's that thing? The trophy system? Is that what destroys the predator missiles? Whatever. Man, I don't give a shit. Anyway, I see. Obviously, you got the uh, specialist class on. Doesn't look like. I mean, if you're gonna get a Moab, you better start getting busy up in this bitch. <laughs> this has been a game of all fucking flag trading and flag monkeys up in this bitch. And you know what? That's, that's kind of what's gonna happen when you get like randoms and shit like that. Look. Oh, God, people did throw the fucking the, the airdrop. You know what's funny, man? Nobody picks up traps anymore. They really don't. Nobody picks up a damn trap anymore. They just leave that shit. Unless they saw what Death by Numbers is doing. He saw somebody trying to download the motherfucker. When you see somebody trying to download the motherfucker, you know the shit must be legit. Now, what I try and do is when I have the, the airdrop trap, and I, I, I haven't, I stopped using that shit because nobody really fucking takes that shit anymore. When I have the airdrop trap, what I like to do is even though I'll take a death a lot of times, you act like you're gonna download the motherfucker. You sit there, you sit next to it, and then people think, oh wow, it's a real care package. So then, when they actually, you know, like, like do something unless they have sit rep, they actually go over there and they try and download it, boom, you get a free kill. <laughs> it's a cheap way of doing it. But usually, people are kind of smart enough, they got to the point where they see a fucking package on the floor for like half an hour, obviously, something's wrong with the motherfucker. You know what I mean? So, people who use camp packages now, that, uh, what, I bet you, yeah, you're right in that line. How the hell did you survive that stealth bomb? They have another juggernaut? Oh, this must be a party. This is either a party or that motherfucker got the goddamn juggernaut out of that, um... That uh, airdrop, whatever the fuck this stupid shit is. What the hell? Where is this guy? How the, where the hell did that guy go? Did he get you? Oh god, I be that that right there. That's like Call of Duty right there. Three bullets in his ass, but yet somehow he managed to die up in this bitch. Now, are the are the randoms captioned on the flag? Somebody got this. How the fuck did that happen? 
I literally saw the other guy come out of the goddamn room, and that guy turns left and shoots you. He never saw the motherfucker come out of the room? Oh, man. He, he, I, I got him in. <laughs> got it. You just gotta look at this game like, how are you fucking serious with that bullshit, man? He came out of there. He should have got shot way before you did. There. Fucking, you only hitting him in his goddamn face. Look, I'm watching this shit and I'm getting pissed. Because you know what it is? I go through the same bullshit. Everything that you're seeing right now from Death by Numbers, that's the kind of shit that I go through. You shoot a motherfucker and somehow they survive. Why, why are you jumping on tables, man? <laughs> you do it like a table dance up in this bitch. Did you guys, no, you guys didn't get EMP, right? You guys got, um, I guess counter UAV. That's probably what they got out of that stupid ass escort drop. You know, when people see that shit, shoot the motherfucker out of the sky. That's all you gotta do. Just shoot that piece of shit out the sky. You can nail it with a stinger missile. You can fuck that thing up pretty goddamn good. And obviously, it doesn't look like you're gonna get the at this round. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, yeah, he's total pro. But you're not killing this guy. Wow. Are you serious? Did you just knife that motherfucker? Holy shit. That was pretty crazy right there. Because, <laughs> you know, first of all, the juggernaut takes like a thousand points to kill this one. Oh, they have, they have another juggernaut too? Are you serious? You must have played a whole party because this, this whole team had a juggernaut too. And you know, usually people in domination, what they like to do is they like to use the uh, the EMP and shit like that. And it's this guy, they wanted to use the juggernaut. Hey, you got another one? Oh, yeah, nice that one. Anyway, uh, 12 fucking minutes. 12 minutes of me just babbling on about fucking domination and why I can't stand some of these stupid ads. <laughs> anyway, that's that my number. Shooting the shit out of a juggernaut in his ass. Well, obviously, didn't know he was behind him. Anyway, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in the next Fire Commentary video. Are we just gonna see your score? I noticed that. Nobody ever pressed select to see. Oh, there we go. Right on cue. 41 and 24. Good game there.